All right, so in this video, I'll be showing you how to control your computer just by using your phone. Uh, I don't know why it's not focusing. All right, so to, to do this, you have to use this app called Chrome Remote Desktop. So I'm going to leave a link to it in the description where you can install it to your device. After installing it to your device, just open it. Um, there's no open button here, so you have to access all your apps. So this is it over here, Remote Desktop. You tap it to open it and it shows you a website that you have to go to. So I'm going to go to the website using the Chrome browser, but I think you can use any browser you want, but uh, if you want to follow along, use the Chrome browser. Let me try bringing the computer a bit closer. Okay, so now I'm going to press the enter button. If this pops up, you can click install, but I didn't. I clicked this one. So you should click this one and the software is going to get downloaded to your device. After the software gets downloaded to your device, you can come up here to downloads. So this is a software called Chrome Remote Desktop Host. So just double click it to install it. I've already installed it to this device, so I don't have to waste your time. After installing it, this is what you're going to see. So double click it to open it. After you run the software, it's going to ask you to log in. You want to make sure that the account that you have on the app, this is the account that I'm using for the app is what you should use on the computer as well. If not, it's not going to work. Uh, focus. All right, so now I'm logging into the account. All right, so now I'm logged into my Google account, the same account I have on my device over here. So what I'm going to do next is click on turn on, and then it's going to ask me to give, uh, to create a name. You can choose any name you want. I'll use click on tap. After that, you click next. So next is going to ask you to create a pin. The pin should be at least six digits. So create a six digit pin that you can remember. So for me, I used eight um, digits. You need to enter the pin twice to make sure that you remember the pin. Then you click next. So after clicking next, it's going to start the setup process to create the host so you can sign into. All right, so it says online. All right, so now it's showing up on my phone and because I'm using the same Google account, that is why it's showing up. If I switch to another Google account, this will not show up. I'll do that now so you can see. All right, so I switched to another Google account and as you can see, it is not showing up. So I have to be signed into the same Google account. All right, so I've switched back to the same Google account. And now if I tap on the computer name or the name that I created, you can see that uh, it is connecting. So it is asking me for the pin. I'm going to enter the pin now. Okay, so after entering the pin, I'll tap next or the blue arrow. So I now have access. Uh, I can control the computer from my phone. Now, um, this will only work if your computer is connected to the internet and uh, if it is turned on, obviously. Okay, so one thing I would suggest you do is you enable auto rotate on your phone. It's a bit bigger and if I tap here, I can see better. Also, I would recommend you tap this um, finger icon over here and then select the first option. It depends on what you want, but for me, I like this option. It's going to show me a mouse that I can use to control the computer. So now I can minimize this and I can do whatever I want. So I can head over to my PC. Uh, I don't have a lot of space. <laughs> I should start deleting stuff. I can close. I can open any browser I want. So this is the Chrome browser. Let's see what happens if I have to type an address. So I can tap here to enter an address. Let's say youtube.com. And it's actually working. From here I can play any video I want or do whatever I want. <laughs> I have full control of the computer. Uh, but it's a small screen, so it's a bit hard to control. So yeah, that's how you control your computer using your phone. So after you're done, you can head back to the, the software, open it, uh, just give it some time to load, and you can come here to disable the remote access. 
So now I no longer have access to the computer. It's still showing up here, but it's going to turn off. All right, so it is now disconnected. If you guys have questions, please leave them in the comments. And if you found the video helpful, please give it a like. I'll see you in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.